Good evening. My name is Hannah Levine. You have it tuned to Seek and Destroy here on KEXP 90.3 FM in Seattle. And I had always dreamed of having this band in the studio, and I can't believe we managed to pull it off. Iraqi metal band Across the Cauda is here. Take it away, guys. Make some noise. Woo!
to Across the Cauda live on KEXP's Seek and Destroy. Welcome to the show, you guys. I'm so glad to have you here. Thank you. Um, shall we, we'll have a little chat here, but if we could just do a little round of introductions if each person just wants to go around and tell me your name and what instrument you're playing. Um, I'm you. Faisal, <laughs> I'm the vocalist. Hey, my name is Mohammed Majid, I'm the guitarist. Paris Al Latif, I'm the bass player. I play drums. This is the first time I hear it. I didn't know your name was that long. I know, me too. <laughs> yeah, we, we all had a long name. <laughs> this is Tony Aku. I'm the guitarist. Excellent. Um, so you guys first came on the radar, probably most of the folks that are listening, through the documentary Heavy Metal in Baghdad, which came out a few years ago. But at this point, you guys have been a band for 10 years. Is that right? Yeah. Thereabouts, uh, more or less. Uh, yeah. You're new. <laughs> Two thousand, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been eleven, twelve. I don't know. And when you guys first formed, was that was everyone living in Baghdad at that time, or what? Tell me a little bit about the history of when you you very first got together. <laughs> all right. So uh, I guess yeah, we all lived in Baghdad actually, and uh, me and Faisal we started a couple of project ba- bands, and it didn't really work out. So. Then finally we met Tony, and uh, Tony led us to Firas because they were friends. Uh, we b- all of us lived in Baghdad, but in different neighborhoods. So gotcha. Yeah, and uh, we formed a band uh, in 2000, I guess, 2001, 2000. And so when the documentary came out and you started getting more attention for that, you were still, if, and correct me if I've got my timelines wrong, but you were still, you were like in Syria or something like that when the, when the documentary came out? When they started actually the documentary, probably was 2005, and yeah. that's like when they had just had the leads right. the band, and uh, that's actually 2005, 2006. So that's when they filmed actually the concert and uh, 
and the uh, DVD. But right. I guess uh, the documentary came out 2008. We were in Turkey, actually. Yeah. Oh, we were okay. Yeah. So you, you got out of Baghdad and you were in Turkey. And did you, I mean, I know that there was a period of time where, you know, you weren't sure whether or not you were going to be able to get over to the States and all that. What was that? I mean, did you think that you were ever going to be over here doing what you're doing now, being on tour? I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think it was a major excitement for all of us. Yeah. It was a long journey. I mean, th there must be a resting station after all that and like and to wonderland for, for all of us. I mean, right. And living the dream and like being in, on the road all the time, it's uh, it's really great, you know? Yeah. And this. because of that, I mean, you've gotten, because there's all this notoriety around the documentary and that sort of thing, you have, you guys have gotten to meet some of your idols, didn't you? You met James Hetfield and all that sort of stuff and yeah. you know so you've gotten uh, uh, you know some some advances because of that but also I, m I would imagine that because everyone asks you about the documentary and about growing <laughs> up in a war-torn world and all that um, it must get a little frustrating sometimes to not be asked about the music so I did want to ask you your your record only the dead see the end of the uh, end of war I would imagine you guys are working on new stuff because that's you know that's material from a little ways ago. What what's kind of inspiring you now that you're over here? Uh, I mean everything, basically. Yeah. You just yeah, you just suck in whatever like in the environment. We're kind of like sponges, so you know whatever happens with you. And and there's uh, I mean I guess in the world there's a lot of injustice and it's, it's still like same you know. So basically mm -hmm. every interview we say like you know, I guess just because we lived in. A like a uh, country torn by war and stuff like that doesn't give us, I guess, like any upper hand or advance. We're just like people, you know. And so we suck in whatever happen ha happened in the environment, and uh, we're still writing about it. I mean, now there's different topics, right. essentially, you know. But uh, I guess war is still part of it. It doesn't have to be like the main attraction. Right. Cause we want the people to kind of like. Because the band got sucked in in the story. A yes. Bit. So we kind of trying to push the music forward. So basically, lyrics is still the same the way, but just like, you know, music's been advanced because there's a lot of progressive elements in it and, right. you know, more diverse, more well rounded, too. Well, how about we keep pushing the music forward and just play some more? How about that? It's too hot in here. I know, it's really warm. Even for Iraqis. <laughs> Yeah, we're having some temperature control issues. But if you wouldn't mind knocking out a couple more songs, I'd be really happy. All right. You're listening to Cross Gouda live on KEXP's Seek and Destroy. Oh, 
listening to Iraqi Band Across the Kauda live on KEXP's Seek and Destroy. Thanks so much for coming in and braving our very hot studio. It's really great to have you guys here. Wish you the best of luck on the rest of your tour and with the rest of your music. Their album, Only the Dead See the End of War, is available now on Vice. If you want to learn more about Across the Kauda's amazing backstory, I recommend renting the documentary Heavy Metal in Baghdad. You can catch them live next in Denver, Colorado on Tuesday, July 26th at the Three Kings Tavern, and of course you can find them out on the land of Facebook and MySpace. I'm Hannah Levine. You've got tuned to Seek and Destroy, where the metal matters, only on KEXP 90.3 FM, Seattle.